I am live. Here I am at a Walmart supermercado in San Miguel, El Salvador. Many people have no idea that Walmart actually exists here in El Salvador. But I'm here to let you know that it's better than you think. Let's ride. Okay, let's switch the camera. So this is Walmart here in El Salvador in San Miguel. Hola, buenos tardes. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and just show you what they sell. I'm just gonna go through the aisles and we have a person here selling, what is this, que vendes? Avena. Okay. It's avena. Avena? For niños. For niños, okay. So if you want things for niños, you could buy it here in aisle six in Creos Cereales Niños. Okay, bueno, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Nombre? Hazel. Hazel. Okay, well, welcome Hazel. This is you too. Okay? All right, gracias. All right, so here they have the same great value options here that you see in the United States. They have Frosted Flakes of Great Value, Magic Treasures. Well, I've never seen Magic Treasures, but they have similar things. But what I'll show you is that they have totally different cereals that you may not be aware of. So here, they have Kellogg's Complete. I've never seen this in my entire life, but here in El Salvador, they have it. <laughs> so they have different type of brands of manzanas y pasas. And they have the almonds, which is almendras complete, all from Kellogg's, okay? And then they even have more here, pasas, which is raisins, and some coco, co almendras, and sabor chocolate. What is the price you say? $2, two for $5.10. It is a little bit expensive, but it's okay, it's manageable. So now you go to the different type of well, um, kids cereal and then you have Coco Krispies, but they call it differently here. They call it Choco Krispies, Choco. But it's the same cereal, but it has a different marca, different advertis advertisement, I don't know, advertisements. But it is Coco Krispies, but it is made by Kellogg's as you can see. So once again, for those who are joining now, I'm here in San Miguel in Walmart and I'm showing you what a Walmart is here in El Salvador. Nestle things, essential things for the niños, all that. Let's walk around. All right, people are running away from the camera, but that's fine. Let's see what uh, exciting things I can show you. Oh my goodness, it smells like fish. It smells like total fish in here. All right, permiso. Hola. Hola, hola. So we have our meats here. You can get some vaca. What is this, vaca? Or, or pork? Chancho? Vaca. Vaca. Okay, you can get your vaca right here. And you got some, what is this, gallina? Pollo? No sé. So if you need some mojo, they have mojo right here for your chicken. They have everything in the Estados Unidos that you can find here in El Salvador. And you have your camarones or whatever they call it, some pescado and some salmon, all for good prices, just like that. All right, more of a look. What's up, Bunjo? I see you, bro. Hola, everyone that wants to join and see how Walmart is. I'm going slow. Saludos, Joel. Hola, buenos tardes. Oh, yeah. So you may want to look at the prices, and this is per pound, $4.50. I don't even know what this is. This is a. Uh, Cerdo. Okay, so this is some pork. The pork is a little bit expensive, but it's manageable. If you have a job, you can make it happen. Okay? Let's take a walk. Let's get out of this cereal section. Pork ribs. Oh, yeah. So, yes, I'm still here in El Salvador for those who are wondering. Look, I have a haircut. Bah. How nice, you like that. Gracias, senor. <laughs> All right, so San Miguel is a great place. I like being in this area. Sometimes people speak English, sometimes they don't, but it's okay. I get around regardless. This time around, I decided to rent a car. 
So I'm actually driving there this time. You may see me on the road, you may not. So I don't make myself known. I like to just chill and be on the outsides. All right, so let's go to the, to the dishwashing soap section. Permiso, senor. Sorry that you have to be in my video. So, <laughs> oh, you understand hi, me. Hi, yeah. hi. Most people don't understand anything I'm saying. <laughs> Here, the dish soap in El Salvador is totally different. You will not see palm olive. You will not see uh, Colgate, whatever, even though Colgate is popular here, but you won't won't see the Colgate products of dishwashing soap. You'll see Eficaz, Eficaz. you'll see Salvo, you'll see Zagaz, you'll see Sapulio. I don't know. I don't know any of these things. None of these things are what you're used to at all. But the only thing that what you may be used to other than Acción, if you know anything about it, I don't know what this is. It's not Colgate Palmolive. It's Dawn. So that's all that I know of. So if you need to wash your dishes, we have Dawn antibacterial here. All right, hola, sad darkness, thank you for coming. All right, let's take a walk. What other aisle I'd like to see? Hola, senor. Oh yeah. Let me not move the camera around too much. I know it's kind of hard. How you doing, Princess K? Thank you for joining. So if anyone needs some pintura, you get it from here. I was always looking for pintura, but they always brought me to this spot. <laughs> so they told me to say cuadro if I needed actual paint. But see, you can find paint at Walmart. And you can actually get it mixed, which is different. Look at that. So if you need some mixtas, we have the guy doing it right here. Permiso, senor. See, you can mix the paint right here on the spot. Ahorita. Bueno. That is nice. You see? Don't count El Salvador out, all right? You guys don't know that they do this stuff here. They don't even do this in the United States. Look at this. I don't even know what this is. Suavidad extrema. I have no idea what this is. I'm not familiar with anything. Fácil, plancha. I don't know what this is. It looks like you can drink it, but I don't think you want to drink this stuff. All right, let's keep walking. Let's go down this aisle. Permiso. So if you need to clean your teeth, we do have Oral-B. Colgate is the most popular brand here. Colgate is what they call it, Colgate. So if you want to clean your teeth, like me, get on that Colgate. But see, this is what I do. I have a three-step process, guys. What I do is I floss, then I brush with an electric toothbrush, and then I use alcoholic mouthwash. See? That's what you're supposed to do. And if you do the three-step process, your teeth could be as white as mine. Bling! You too, see? Nope. Either way, it's like that. All right, let's keep walking. They'll be running away, boy. <laughs> All right, it's kind of dark down here. I'm getting kind of scared. All right, let's see what else we can see. So you want your hair products for girls and all this stuff. They have Nivea. But see, this is what I noticed, guys. The, yeah, you just said it, Mr. Madden. I was just saying that. Would you say the prices are higher or lower than average? It is much higher. Look, just to get some Nivea, whatever this is, it's like $9. But in the United States, it's probably like 6 And I think it's because of the import and export taxes. So things are a lot more expensive here. So that's why I kept on saying when it comes to the prices, you can afford it. It's, it's manageable to afford it here in El Salvador, but it's a lot more expensive. That's why you see in this store, it's not completely packed. Everyone here seems to be somewhat affluent like where they have enough to afford it. But you won't really see some of the people like that lives on the farms and stuff like that because it's probably out of their price range and things like that. But the prices are about a dollar or two more than the United States. Thank you for whoever gave me that super chat because I can't really see you because I'm walking around. So deodorant, soap, as you can see right here, three soaps right here is $1.75 and normally it's two sixty-five. And this is not even the best soap. So yeah, the prices are definitely higher here in El Salvador Walmart. Yes, one day I might go to Santa Ana. I don't know. I know everyone keeps asking me why, why I don't go to Santa Ana. I don't know. Maybe all this action is here in San Miguel. But I'm not going to be here too long. I like to stick and move. Stick and move. Get in, get out. Really? Why? Why you say stick and move? Because people be finding me and they be like chasing me. 
So I have to move away sometimes. And you might say, why are you saying that? It happened already multiple times. So that's why I don't do a lot of live streams because people be like bothering me. Some, I got some haters. So when you got haters, you got to like stick and move. Get in and get out. So I'm not going to be in this Walmart too long. <laughs> you got to watch out. All right. So I'm not saying that it's unsafe, but sometimes people don't like you. So you got to don't stay in a place too long. Super Selectus, I was there last night and I bought some water here in San Miguel. So uh, San Miguel, uh, Super Selectus has the best prices Larissa, for groceries. So yeah. All right, so what are they saying? You should go to Anamoros. Uh, Anamoros, that's in the next video. So the next video that's coming up is Anamoros, whoever just asked that. And yes, Helena being smart indeed, stick and move. So Cruz, yes, Anamoros is in the next video that's premiering in about three and a half hours. Okay, so if you need car stuff, you got it all right here. Wow, they even have tires. Some Walmarts in the United States have tires if you have an auto center, but this Walmart doesn't have an auto center. So they just stick the tires right in the middle. But if you need your oil, you need your antifreeze coolant, you need all that stuff, it's right behind the paint section. Just like that. Yes, I'm right. I'm in El Salvador. Who said that? Who said that? Sorry if I deleted your message by mistake, Jose. They always say, are you really there? Yeah, I'm really here. Who's this? Koji come 66. Yes, see, si. I'm here in El Salvador. Okay. What else can I show you at Walmart? So I don't want to bother people too much because people are in their private, like doing their own thing. So, you know, I don't want to disrespect them. But I definitely give my olas and stuff like that. Yeah. Always. Okay. So let's see what they have here. Let's go to the front. Okay. So in the front, they have their ca cajeros, which is like an ATM, which is the ATM. Cajeros and paqueteria. I don't know what a paqueteria is. I don't know what they're doing there. Permisos and patents. I don't know. What's a paqueteria? I have no idea. I don't know if they're trying to buy big stuff. They have a pharmacy right there. Service, financiers, financieros, and helados. So you can even buy ice cream right inside the Walmart. So that's what we're looking at. Thank you. God bless you too, Manuel. So the lines are pretty long here. So I guess what they need in this Walmart, they need more self-checkout lanes like they have in the United States. Because these people are just waiting, waiting, waiting. They don't have any check self-checkout lanes that you're probably used to when you uh, go to Walmart. You see, the lines can get really long. All right. Sorry if the camera is kind of moving around. It's because I'm moving around. Ah, I like that team right there. Aguila. Aguila, si. Bueno, yes, yes. You got your casetines. All right. Okay. Let's keep walking. So I'm not going to be on this stream too, too long. I just wanted to give you a view. People are always wondering where I'm at. I'm in San Miguel and I'm showing the Walmart. So you got your toys for the kids. You got your slippers and it's all the same. So you may say, where's the stuff made from? Hecho in China. Everything is from China. Rather, if you come into El Salvador, Guatemala, everything is from China. I love China. <laughs> China is, if you ever seen the buildings in China, Watch Reporterify Media on YouTube and you'll see the magic that China has. I'm not a China hater, trust me not. I would love to see China and all the things that they have. Reporterify Media, he'll show it all. So let me show you the biggest thing about Walmart. This is actually one of the reasons why you should always come to Walmart. <laughs> is a microondas. So let me show you and the TVs. The microondas is necessary sometimes these days. You need a microwave, man. Without a microwave, you, you're gonna be struggling, man. Every, everywhere I go, I say, do you have a microwave here? So if you don't, you come here and you can buy one. So here's the problem though. In the Walmart in the US, you can find a nice microondas, a nice microwave for almost $35, $40. But the same $35 one you'll find here is $73. 
and a basic one that's normally 70 is like 130, 119. So that's the problem. All these are basic 900 watt, watt microwaves. They're basic. They're good. They're all made from China. The same junk that you'll find in the US. When I say junk, I just mean cosas, things. That doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just the same junk, same stuff, okay? So in the US, this oyster microwave would normally go 79. Here, it's 130. Why are they making it more expensive? I guess it's because the export, import and export tax. See, here goes the stuff. The cheapest, cheapest one. Look at this. Look at this, this barato microondas. Look at that. The basic junk, $78. In the US, this is like 40. So yes, there's a big difference, okay? Big difference. What do I like most about El Salvador? Um, to the people, the gentes. Hola, senor. Hola. Okay. See, everyone is muy amable. Oh, no. See, if, if this was... That's, that's expensive. expensive. That's caro. And your country is... Estados United Unidos States? de America, si. Sí. A United States, huh? Yeah, but, but two, que pensas? Is this caro aquí or no? I don't know. No? Uh, no? I, said, I said maybe cheap. It's cheap? That's cheap? Yeah. You see? And uh, your country? Spain? Oh, okay. in, in 49. Oh, 49. 49. Si. Oh. In serio. Oh, what was that, huh? Yes, it's cheaper. It's expensive. It's very expensive. I have no idea why. What, what happened? What happened? Maybe export. Maybe export. See. Si. A little bit more. Pay a lot of money for coming here. And I don't like that. No me gusta. I, oh. I wish that they would give it the same precio because if anything, it's coming on a boat or uh -huh, it's coming right. on the avion. Whichever way, it's the same thing. Rather, it's going to North Dakota. Or El Salvador, uh, 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 what's the difference? It still has to travel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I understand. It makes no sense. But, but maybe all of this store will coming from here. Do uh, you see everything expensive? No <laughs> saying over there? Yeah, it's, it's more expensive here. More expensive here? Yeah. <gasps> Is this country very poor? I know. That's Well, not all the country, but I know what you mean. Yes, it, it's... Uh, you over there, yes. more money. Working a little bit, more money. Overall, see, see, overall. Yeah. Every, every people have little money here. It, yeah. It's, and then they make it more expensive. That's crazy. Right. I don't agree with them doing that. Like 30% more, man. You know? All right. Well, thank you for your interview. All your right. interview. I okay. appreciate you. Good luck. Te Hi, okay, gracias. So you see what I'm saying? $119, $135. So, yeah. What, what's the comment section saying? So third world country, you know, I, I don't like to say those words, but yeah, I know what you mean. <sighs> What's up to all my people from El Salvador? Thank you, Maniac Canadian, for being here. Now let's look at the televisions. Okay, so as we know, TV prices has gotten a lot cheaper overall. Plasma is no more. LED is still where it's at, and OLED is where it's at these days. But prices have reduced, but it's still a lot more expensive than US prices. You can go to the US and get a cheap RCA TV. You probably find this for $2.99. And it doesn't have to be Black Friday. And what, what size is this? 46 inches. Yes, you can go to Walmart right now and find a 46 inch TV for $2.99 or $3.50. But here it's $4.15. And then $4.49 for Iowa. Iowa's not special anymore. Yes, it's a smart TV, but who cares about smart TV? We all have Roku's, PlayStation 5's, no one uses that smart TV stuff. It doesn't work anyways, because after a year, they stop supporting it. That's why you don't need to buy smart TVs anymore. Just get a Roku. It's better. 365. So um, RCA is not the best brand, but it's manageable. So if you say, is it so bad to get yourself a TV? No, you can come here and get a TV. For those in El Salvador uh, who may understand me, don't ask your family to send a TV from the US. It's not worth it. You can actually buy a TV here. Is it more expensive? Yes, but it's manageable. So just buy it here and call it a day. I know they do that in Ethiopia. What they do is they say, oh, family, can you bring a TV for me in, from U.S. Ethiopia? You know what happens? They send that TV right back to the U.S. because the plugs are different and the volts are different, so it doesn't work. So, yeah, but the lucky thing about um, U.S. and El Salvador relations is that the volts are the same. 120 volts, whatever, it's all the same. So you can use the same refrigerators. You can use the same... Um, whatever this is, fridge, coolers, um, lavador, lavadorias, whatever you call these things. It's all the same. Okay. Thanks for keeping the stream. Thank you, Mente. Thank you, Melissa. 
appreciate you. All right. Thank you who said you ever liked my channel. I appreciate it. I just like to be real. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like me because of my humor. But it's okay. No me importa nada. <laughs> That's right. All right. So. Yes. Absolutely. So it's all the same. Same cosas. Es mismo cosas. Yes, that's why people send stuff from El Salvador here because, you know, I mean, to the U.S. Because there's stuff here in El Salvador that you can't get in the U.S. That's why they have many um, people who work as a, um, in El Salvador, they have many people who work as a courier who comes through the airport and brings all the stuff from El Salvador to the U.S. instead of the other way around. Because people love to get their quesadillas directly from El Salvador. They love to get their pupusas revueltas, which is prohibido, but they do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't bring pupusas revueltas to the airport. It's prohibido. No chicharon. People don't know that, though, but they try. Laptops. Uh, this is, what, per month or whatever? So watch out for those prices. And I don't think any of those prices are worth it. So what they try to do to help people out, they do it like on a monthly plan. They say, what, 36 months, you pay $26. Don't look at that. Just look at the overall price. Is it worth $5.15? Maybe maybe not but you got to look at the ram you got to look at the storage as you can see here they use a lot of amd there's not a real problem with amd but the athlon is not the best amd to get you know you if anything you want to get that ryzen that ryzen amd so don't get confused just because it says one terabyte gigabyte hard drive that's all fake this is what you care about it's the processor the proceda processador okay Core i3, this may seem better, but it's a little bit faster, but it's way overpriced. Uh, i3 for 659, or well now 629. What is this anyways? The heck is this? Lenovo? Yeah, overpriced. Big time overpriced. Yeah. Thanks for coming, um, DJ Tony. Appreciate you. So yeah, watch out. Don't get laptops from El Salvador. It's almost better just to get it from Amazon and then pay the high expensive shipping price to El Salvador or just get one from Amazon, ship it to the U.S. and have one of your familia bring it from the U.S. to El Salvador because you're getting ripped off with these prices. These are old processors, AMD Athlons, which are no good. This garbage. Okay, don't, don't get confused, man. Hello, Rosario. Thank you for coming. All right, what else we got here? So we have cell phone stuff. We got, what is this stuff? Phones, iPhones. I don't know if they have iPhones. Just different type of phones. I don't know the company. Oh, permiso. Tienes iPhone aquí. iPhone. Oh, this. It's nuevo? Oh, it's all nuevo. iPhone. She says, see, I don't see no iPhone. Oh, only that. Which which iPhone is this? K K. Samsung S21, S21 Plus. No iPhone. So they only have two iPhones here, which is the SE. I guess that's a, I guess that's the second generation of the SE. For four ninety nine. Wait, I don't know. Four ninety nine. How many gigabytes? Sixty four. That that may be the first generation of the SE. I don't know, because that price is kind of I don't know. And then you, oh look at that. And then you got the iPhone twelve mini. See. So we got everything, total. Samsung, iPhone. Okay, total. Bueno, okay. That's the prices. Aquí? Okay, so oh, if you want the service, you get it right here. Servicio. Ah, bueno. Okay, so they have Claro. Claro is another phone company here in El Salvador, as well as Tigo. I don't see Tigo in here, but they have um, the different companies where you can get them the plans per month if you can't afford it outright, okay? So they have a lot of Xiaomi. Xiaomi is what they, uh, it's the top phone in India. Xiaomi. So this is Xiaomi. In, in Mandarin, that means rice. The phone that I'm using now is a Xiaomi. I don't buy iPhones really, and I don't buy Samsung anymore. I like Xiaomi because it doesn't have um, a lot of bloatware. Bloatware is annoying. So Xiaomi is good. What's up, bro? Monday. Do you speak, do you speak 
Spanish? No. Only English. Only, Only English. English. Okay, si. our, our store is unable to record, right? Oh, no grabar. No. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. So yeah. they found me. They saw, I was looking at them. They was looking at me. They said, no grabar in Walmart. Okay, yeah, so yeah. this dream is going to end terminado. I like your camiseta because El Salvador, they, they won yeah. ayer. Yeah, they got some. Yeah, they won. Yeah. Ah, see, yeah. so even though I have to stop it, we're still talking about football, eh? I'm so sorry. So it's okay. No, no, no problem. So I got to go. Hasta pronto. Bye. Okay. okay. Sorry, bye, pues. Bye, pues. Okay, okay, pues. So I got to go, guys. They found me. I tried. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's stop the stream. Bye, pues.